Namaste and a very, very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mathun. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to create a scatter plot using SPSS. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to create a scatter plot using SPSS, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by asking a simple question as to what is a scatter plot. Scatter plot is a two dimensional graph which helps us understand the behavior of one variable with respect to another. Scatter plot is used when you have two variables at least. In today's example, I will be working on a data set which is called as the car sales data set. We will be studying the behavior of two important variables one is sales, and the second one is mileage. To load any data set in SPSS, you can click on the file menu. Then I'll use the option recently used data. SPSS shows the 10 recently used files. Right at the top, you can see what is called as car sales data set. Let me go ahead and click on this particular option. What you're seeing now is the car sales data set. As you can clearly see here, there are three variables in this data set. The first is the model of the vehicle. Second is the sales, which is expressed in 1000. The third variable is mileage per gallon. When we create a scatter plot, we need to be mindful that we require two scale variables. We can't take a categorical variable. We need two scale variables. What I intend to do is I want to take sales along the y-axis, mileage per gallon along the x-axis. Let me examine the sample size in this data. The sample size in this data set would be 157. So we have 157 data points, which tell me the sales and the mileage of vehicle. Further, we are also given information about the model. The first row represents Integra. Its sales would be $16,000 and the mileage that it gives is 28. To create a scatter plot in SPSS, the first thing that we need to do is go to the graphs menu. When you click on the graphs menu, the very first option that you see here is what is called as chart builder. Let me click on the chart builder. This will open up a new dialog box, which is called as the chart builder dialog box. In the left hand side, what you see is the variables list. In the right hand side, what you see is a blank space. So far, we have not selected any graph and therefore this space here appears blank. What we are going to do now is in the left hand side, you have the option for different graphs. You can see here, this says choose from and here we can choose bar chart, line chart, area chart or any of the other graphs. I will select the scatter plot. Once you select the scatter plot, my apologies, this is the scatter plot option. Once I select the cat scatter plot option, you can see here there are nine different types of scatter plot. The first is the simple scatter. The second would be simple scatter with a fit line. The third would be grouped scatter. Like this, we have nine different types of scatter plot. What I'm going to do now is select the very first option, simple scatter. When I choose the option simple scatter, you can see SPSS displays a box for y-axis. It is also asking me to supply a x-axis variable. Along the x-axis, what I'll choose is mileage per gallon. I can select the variable fuel efficiency, drag this and drop it into x-axis. Now, as far as the y-axis is concerned, I can select the variable sales drag this and drop it into y-axis. I want to keep it very, very simple. And therefore, I'm just specifying two variables, one along the y-axis and the other along the x-axis. 
to generate the scatter plot, what you need to do is click on the OK button. Let me go ahead and select the OK button. You can see here, this is the output window. In the output window, you can see SPSS shows the output of the scatter plot. What you're seeing here is nothing but the Y axis and the X axis respectively. You're seeing the distribution of sales with respect to fuel efficiency. My first observation when I look at the scatter plot is that majority of the observations are clustered in this region. Interestingly, you can see here, the minimum value of fuel efficiency is 15 units and the maximum is 45. Let's look at the range of sales. It can be anywhere from zero to 600. What's extremely interesting is you have one circle here, which is to the extreme right side. It will be very interesting to investigate which model of vehicle does this represent. As of now, you can clearly see it has a very high value of fuel efficiency to the tune of 45 units, but the sales is very, very low. I repeat, this is a data point which has extremely high value of fuel efficiency and very low value of sales. Similarly, you can also observe another point here, wherein this point has extremely high value of seals. It is exceeding 500. On the other hand, when you look at fuel efficiency, it is less than 20 units. What is the analysis that we can make by looking at the scatter plot? The analysis that we can make from this exercise is that we have two outliers in the data set. It'll be very, very interesting to point out which are these two outliers. Let me go to the SPSS data set. In the SPSS data set, what you are seeing is the original data set. I'd like to name each and every data point that we saw in the scatter plot. I'd like to highlight which model of vehicle this particular point is. Similarly, I'd like to also highlight which model of vehicle this extreme point is. To do this, we can click on the graphs menu. In the graphs menu, you've already seen the first option is chart builder. Let me select the option chart builder. This will show me the representation of a scatter plot. In the lower half of this particular window, you can see there are different options like gallery, basic elements, and groups or point ID. Let me select groups bar point ID. The last option here is point ID label. Let me select this particular option. What this does is it gives me a new box, which is called as point label variable. Here, I can drag and drop the variable model into point label, point ID rather. Now that you have selected model as the variable with which you are going to label each and every data point, what we can do is you can go ahead and hit the OK button. This will take me to the output window and in the output window, you can see a scatter plot. This is the same scatter plot that you saw earlier, but when you compare this with the earlier scatter plot, you could clearly see it. None of the data points were named. None of the data points had a label against it. The, now the new scatter plot that you are seeing has a label against each and every data point. You can clearly see here that the outlier that we were worried about is F series. F series is the vehicle which has a very high value of sales and a very low value of fuel efficiency. Similarly, you can also see the second outlier, namely Metro, which has a very high value of fuel efficiency, but a very low value of sales. So from this exercise, what we can conclude is that using a scatter plot, we can identify 
two outliers. One is F-series and the second one is Metro. In the presence of outliers, there are many analyses which give you distorted results. Even if you were to use a simple mean statistic, the mean would not be completely accurate. It would not be reliable in the presence of outliers. Therefore, we need to be very, very careful when you're handling outliers. Let me go back to the data set and identify F-series and Metro. This is the sheet which has the data. The first column is model. I can simply use control F. Control F will give me a new dialog box. This is an option which will help me find and replace. What is it that I want to find? I want to find F series. So I'm going to type F series here and say find next. Straight away, SPSS takes me to the 57th row. And you can clearly see here the sales value for F series is 540. When you compare the value of 540 with its neighbors, this is really, really high. Next, what I want to do is in the find and replace dialog box, I can choose the next outlier, which is Metro. Let me hit the find next option. It says the search string Metro was not found. Okay. I'll have to select the variable name and not the row number, row ID here. Let me select the variable. Now, I've already made my choice. I want to find Metro. Let me hit the Find Next button. You can see here, the 27th row is Metro. One very interesting thing here is that Metro has an extremely high value of mileage. When you compare the mileage of Metro, which is 45, with its neighboring points, it is clearly a value which stands out. So with this, I have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we have seen how to create the scatter plot using chart builder option. Scatter plot not only tells me whether there's a linear relationship or a nonlinear relationship between the variables in my data set, it also tells me whether there are outliers in the data set or not. I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. I thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.